Shalom Chavrim, I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live, a quick take of our broadcast. I wanted to come back and kind of uh, elaborate a little bit more about uh, two things here. Russia suspends the memorandum with the U.S. on flight safety in Syria, according to the Foreign Ministry of Russia as of right now. What does this mean? Well, as I was mentioning to you in the pr uh, previous broadcast here, we have uh, friends inside of Syria there. We were able to check with a reporter there, a friend of ours there, to confirm that, yes, indeed, Russia never tried to stop the cruise missiles coming in, the S-300 nor the S-400 system, neither did Syria. And the reason being is because the United States was not considered an aggressive force in the country. There has been the memorandum of flight safety. That includes cruise missiles. Therefore, the Russian defense system was set not to knock out U.S. cruise missiles that are coming in. So Russia really was caught off guard by this act here. And the United States very well knew what they were doing, that they had to take the element of surprise because of Russia's possible intervention. Now Russia has removed this memorandum, which will allow anything the U.S. does to be knocked down out of the sky. This is majorly changing the atmosphere that is happening there. Also, Russia claiming the exact same thing that we reported the other day before even the chemical attack happened. We were already seeing the movement of forces all around uh, Damascus, especially by the U.S. from Romania. And Russia states here as well on Sputnik, the decision to attack Syria was made ahead of Idlib chemical incident used as a pretext for this demonstration of strength. The U.S. missile strike on Syria's airfield uh, so a so clear act of aggression against a sovereign Syria, the Russian foreign ministry said. It is clear, they state, that the decision to conduct the strike in Syria was made in Washington before the incident in Idlib, which was used as a pretext for this demonstration of strength, the Russian foreign ministry has stated there in the article entitled, U.S. Attack in Syria Show of Force, Russian Foreign Ministry. Now, Again, this may be the very thing that the United States was needing to do because of moving in that military equipment that we have watched ourselves on the different uh, borders there, moving stuff in through Jordan, moving stuff in through Lebanon, and it may be that the U.S. is really getting ready for a ground war against the Syrian government there. And, of course, the sarin gas is only that for the American people and, of course, the European people to buy. And, of course, now the Israeli people are being tried to be persuaded by Chief Rabbi Lau, or a former Chief Rabbi of Israel, uh, Rabbi Lau, to get the public's opinion behind an, an, a launched attack on Bashar al-Assad. Well, General Wesley Clark stated that they're planning on overthrowing the nation. It is definitely something that is on the books and is about to happen. A very serious situation indeed. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live, a quick take of our broadcast. Be updating you more as the day unfolds. Shalom.